Welcome to Vegas Hockey Hub here in the sports entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, on PRConnectionRadio.com, the voice of new media. I'm your host, Ian Michelli. We have a fantastic show planned out for you as we are going to be going over the top prospects in the Vegas Golden Knights organization. A guy you have on your screen right here, right now on Vegas Hockey Hub, we are going to discuss. Brendan Bryson, who is currently playing in the AHL right now for the Henderson Silver Knights. And the reason why we're going to be focusing on him is because of an interesting conversation I had with someone recently. Now, recently, I had a show where I was talking about the big prospects, talking about the best players in the minor league system. I did a show recently where I recapped and spotlighted the best players in the minors for your Vegas Golden Knights. I talked about Braden Packle. I talked about Danny Chaka. I discussed, for example, defensemen like uh, Lucas Cormier. And then you had, you know, in the ECHL, Daniel Viamito. You had uh, Brendan Gouet. There was a bunch of talent I discussed in that video, and I will leave a card up here so you can watch that video, that episode, if you want to go out and watch it. But a comment that someone left on that video was, where is Brendan Bryson? Why didn't you discuss Brendan Bryson? So I actually planned on talking about him in a full length video going into an episode and really breaking down the 2020 first round pick Vegas took uh, him. But I really wanted to talk about how Brendan Bryson, he does have talent. He is someone who should be a good member of Vegas moving forward. But I wanted to break it down and talk about it for almost the entire show. I didn't just want to you will go and, and talk about him for a few minutes like I did on that Monday show where I discussed the best prospects and the best young talent Vegas had. So with Brendan Bryson, I'm going to take you back to the beginning. I'm going to take you back to when he was playing for the Chicago Steel of the USHL. So... Before playing in the U in the USHL, the United States Hockey League, he actually played for the Los Angeles Kings Junior team. He did that for two seasons, and he played for the for the LA Junior Kings. He had 28 points in 43 games in 2014, and 24 points in 2015. He eventually moves on. He plays in the USH uh, USHS. Puts up 101 points in 55 games played in 2018. That was at the age of 15 years old. So in 2019, he goes to the Chicago Steel of the USHL. And in his one season playing in Chicago, he has 24 goals, 59 points, a plus 17 in 45 games played. And that same year, he commits to playing two years at University of Michigan. He signs on the dotted line. He is going to become a Michigan Wolverine and be part of one of the dynasties of college hockey and that's out there in Michigan. After putting up all of those stellar numbers, and keep in mind, by the way, Brendan Bryson is from California. He was born in California. He played youth hockey in L.A., and when he did his junior season in the United States Hockey League, he was also named to the first team All-USHL and was even named USHL Rookie of the Year. So before heading into his college career at University of Michigan, he is going to get ready to get drafted. As a matter of fact, Here's actually an interesting part that I actually wanted to discuss in a little bit of detail. Here is Brendan Bryson's draft grade heading into 2020 NHL draft. And you can see right here, here is what elite prospects 
had for Brendan Bright Dawn in his grade heading into 2020. So keep in mind that when you get graded from 1 to 10, according to elite prospects. So skating is 5.5. So that's kind of an average skating. He's an average skater. Shooting is a 7 out of 10. And getting to see Brendan Bryce on live in person out in Henderson, I can actually confirm that his shooting is pretty good. He's someone who can pass the puck around. He has been a solid contributor in uh, up at that point. Passing was seven and a half. Puck handling seven and a half. Once again, alluding to the fact that yes, he is someone who can pass the puck around, create opportunities for his teammates, and someone who can put puck in the back of the net. Hockey sense, aka hockey IQ, was a seven. And based off the way I watched Brendan Bryce on play in Henderson, it actually does make sense that his hockey IQ would be around that level. He really shows that he could be a solid player. And then his physicality is five and a half, so kind of on the average uh, scale there. So when you actually compare that, and they gave him a grade of A heading into 2020 NHL draft. So his positives and his pros is his pass his passing and his puck handling. His weaknesses is skating and being physical. Okay, so according to elite prospects, that was up until he gets drafted by Vegas. So in that 2020 draft, 29th overall, he gets selected by the Vegas Golden Knights, and actually becomes one of their top prospects right away. So in his two years in between being with the Vegas Golden Knights and being drafted, here's actually what he did up to that point. He actually played with Team USA. He was actually part of the USA World Junior Championship, and he had two goals in seven games in the World in your championships for Team USA. So for a guy that isn't even 20 years old yet, to be representing Team USA in the World Junior Championship really shows you how talented Brendan Bryce Dawn really is. The fact that he put up two goals in the World Junior Championship in 2020 at the age of 19, while wearing number 19, that was a good moment for him. He then goes to University of Michigan, and for two seasons at University of Michigan, he put up 31 goals, 32 assists, for 63 points in Michigan. There's also the same guy who got to the playoffs at University of Michigan and helped University of Michigan be in the Frozen Four during his time period there. He also had... He also ended up having 50 penalty minutes and a positive 27 while playing at University of Michigan. So he's had solid defensive numbers with his plus minus. He could put the puck in the back of the net, and he was somebody who could pass the puck around in University of Michigan at Chicago, and even translated that when he was in juniors out there in L.A. So Brendan Bryce Vaughn, up to that point at 20 years of age, had shown that he had an impressive resume in juniors. He showed an impressive resume in college hockey, and he showed an impressive level of awareness in the World Junior Championships playing for Team USA. So how would Brendan Bryce Vaughn transition to the AHL? How would Brendan Bryce Dawn be able to play in the AHL for the Henderson Silver Knights? Because last season, he had a trial run with Henderson. He played nine games in the 2021 season for the Henderson Silver Knights. And in nine games, he had a trio of goals, five assists for eight points, and a plus one for Henderson. So, Brendan Bryce Dawn, in his first professional season in, 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 in the majors, he has eight points in nine games. He almost averaged a point per game while in Henderson. And as someone who, once again, to give you some reference, I got to watch Brendan Bryce Dawn 
play at the Dollar Loan Center up in Henderson. And yes, he was rough. He had some mistakes as a 20-year-old. But the talent was there. You know, the more you watch him play in Henderson and the more shift and the more time he got to be on the ice, you could tell he had talent. And you could tell why Vegas wanted Brendan Bryce on and why they drafted him 29th overall in 2020 NHL draft. So how did that translate to 2022? Okay, how does that translate to the 2022 NHL season? How is that going to translate to how, you know, the Vegas Golden Knights are going to look at him moving forward? Well, that one's actually going to be very simple. Because Brennan Bryson, so far in Henderson, so far in about seven games for Henderson, he has had a single goal and he's had two penalty minutes. So far in his young tenure with Henderson overnight, Brendan Bryson averaged around a point per game in his first season with the Henderson overnight. So what Vegas is going to expect from Brendan Bryson, what Vegas management, what Vegas executives, what the coaching staff, what the people in Henderson are going to be watching out for, can Brendan Bryson Continue the momentum that he had in his first glimpse of professional hockey in 2021. Like I said, for anyone who hadn't watched the show before, in his first nine games in Henderson that he had in the 2021-2022 season, he averaged not eight points in nine games. Okay? Three goals, five assists, eight points, and a plus one in nine games for Henderson. So what Vegas is going to expect and what Henderson is going to need is to see if Brendan Bryson can become a good player up at the next level. And what they're going to want to see from him is someone who can average around a point per game in the AHL. What Vegas is going to be looking for is can he score 15 to 20 goals in Henderson this season. Can he get 15 to 20 assists in Henderson? What about his plus minus? If he is someone who can continue his defensive reliability, which was having a positive plus minus in the US USHL, having a positive plus minus at University of Michigan, and having a positive plus minus in his first season in the AHL. If Brendan Bryson can continue to show momentum and continue to show all of the good impact he has had early in his career, that's what Vegas is going to be focusing on. Now, one aspect that I want people to understand, and trust me when I say I really want to see how Brendan Bryson is going to perform at the next level. Because like I said, he is about, you know, two, like 7.75. 7. I think that's the points per game, about, about 0.75. And when it comes to Brendan Bryce Vaughn, I really compare his career. And I look at it and go, all right, you're this top prospect. You're a guy that so many people are going to be counting on. And with you being six foot, 185 pounds, you're not going to be a juggernaut. You're not going to be six foot five, two hundred and forty pounds. You're not going to be small either, like five foot eight, five foot nine, hundred and hundred and sixty pounds. So what Brendan Bryson is going to need to do is to show people if he can transition to the next level in the NHL. Because there are certain prospects in the NHL alongside Brendan Bryson who have been in the NHL. They have made a drastic impact in the league. All right, people who are around the same level as Brendan Bryson. Keep in mind that Owen Powers for the Buffalo Sabres, he is the number one prospect in all of hockey out there in Buffalo. And when you actually stop and watch Owen Power, not only 
has he been a really good player up to this point in his career? Owen Power, at 19 years of age, he is someone in his second season playing professional hockey. He is already playing for the Buffalo Sabres. He already has five points in the a in the NHL, two of them being goals. How about someone like Quentin Byfield? Who Quentin Byfield or the LA Kings is someone who I believe to show a lot of talent and a lot of good ideas out there in Las Vegas. But who are some prospects that are around the same level as Brendan Bryson? Because according to NHL.com, Brendan Bryson is ranked 35th in terms of top prospects. He is the number one prospect for Vegas. He is 35th overall in, uh, in the NHL. So how about we just compare the two prospects in front of him and compare the two prospects behind him and see where he is compared to them up to this point. So the first one is Los Angeles Kings, Alex Kerkett. Now, this is a guy who's playing for the LA Kings, and his career has actually been a little bit interesting. It actually could be a good comparison to Brendan Bryson. Because right now, he is 21 years old, came from the same draft class and around the same area that Brendan Bryson did. And he had 18 points in 27 games with the Ontario region. And before that, had 21 points in 32 games in Ontario. However, the one thing that's holding him back is that he's had zero points in eight games in the NHL. So we haven't seen what he could do in the NHL, but we know what he can do in the AHL. So that's the first person above him, Alex Turquette. Then you've got Jake Neighbors, for example, someone who currently is playing games in the NHL, someone who actually is a little bit younger than what Brennan Bryson is. He's 20 years old and was drafted two picks before Brennan Bryson was. And in 13 games for St. Louis, he has had um, two goals and he's had three points in his career with the St. Louis Blues. So he has not really shown a lot when it comes to transitioning to the professionals. And as a matter of fact, he's only had 21 points in uh, professional hockey up to this point. So Jake Neighbors, who was in the same draft class as Brendan Bryson, has actually not put up as much numbers as Brendan Bryson has done uh, in, the, in the AHL. How about Philippe Rober? who is the prospect right behind him uh, when it comes to that list. Now, Philip Roberg is actually with the um, Edmonton Oilers, and with him playing in the AHL in the same league as Brennan Bryson, his stats are actually a very interesting note, because in 31 games in the AHL, he has had 23 points, four goals, and a plus 14. So Broberg could maybe have a little bit of a season like Brennan Bryson is supposed to have. Maybe Brennan Bryson could put up some numbers along the same end as Philip Broberg and as Alex Kirkott. And then the last person who's around him is actually from the is actually from the Minnesota Wild, and that's Alan Addison. Now, Addison with the Minnesota Wild, the main difference with him is going to be that he has played more games up to this point out of anybody there. And he is actually someone who's played more NHL games than almost everybody on that list combined. So far, Addison in six games this season has had six points in six games. He's averaging a point per game. The year before, he had four points in 15 games. So Addison has had some good momentum. It's had some points. However, he is someone that I look at and go, you know what? He could be someone that you could say, you know, I hope Brendan Bryson is actually transitioning to and maybe actually put up some of those numbers. Now, Brendan Bryson, like I mentioned before, 
put up over 60 points in two seasons with University of Michigan. He is entering his second season as a professional hockey player for the Vegas Golden Knights. And with him being a smart player, being someone who can, you know, be rational and someone who can change up the speed and momentum of the game, and someone who can who can read plays very well. His hockey IQ is very good at the age of 20. Brennan Bryson is someone that the Vegas Golden Knights are going to hope can join the roster someday. And if he has a strong, successful season in the AHL, he should be getting an NHL roster of, uh, of promotion by the end of the year. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call it right here, right now. And by April, by May, don't be surprised if Brendan Bryson joins the Vegas Golden Knights. Don't be surprised if this guy right here, Brendan Bryson, if he does what I believe he's going to do, and that is build momentum and build solid performances in Henderson. And he ends up, you know, putting some pucks in the back of the net. Uh, help, you know, his hockey IQ keeps getting better and better. He keeps improving at the AHL level. And he eventually will get a promotion to the NHL. And I say by April or May, around the time the trade deadline is over, Brendan Bryson could be on the bottom six playing for your Vegas Golden Knights. Brendan Bryson, at the age of 21, will be playing alongside Michael Amadio, Phil Kessel, Nick Waugh, he is someone that I truly believe will be a Vegas Golden Knight by the end of the year. Him being their number one prospect also has a lot to do with it. Because anyone who watches hockey, anyone who watches the NHL, will know that top prospects get put into action a lot late into the season. You know, about 20 to 25 games left in the year, that's when you will see top prospects get what I like to call their cup of coffee in the NHL. Top prospects will get a chance to play major league hockey. The AHL players get to go to the NHL and play in the NHL for a little bit of time, for a limited amount of time. And I can see that happening with Brendan Bryce Now, I saw somebody ask this question, so I will answer it on this show now. We have about five minutes left in the show. Somebody asked, all right, Brendan Bryson is the number one ranked prospect of the Vegas Golden Knights. He is 35th out of the top 100 prospects in the NHL, according to NHL.com. But is there any Golden Knights that are also on the top 100 outside of Brendan Bryson? Absolutely there is, and I'll tell you exactly where they are. Vegas's number two prospect, defenseman Lucas Cormier, is ranked 65th, a 20-year-old defenseman. He's playing in the AHL, first season playing professional hockey, and if injuries occur, he might be somebody that joins the Vegas Golden Knights in that last 20 to 25 games if he does incredibly well in the AHL. That's our number two prospect. And that is uh, Lucas Cormier. And then the third and last prospect on there from the Vegas Golden Knights, you actually end up having him towards the back end of it. And that is Vegas Golden Knights first round pick, Zach Dean. So Zach Dean, he's on that list. Like I said, Lucas Cormier, Brendan Bryce on. There's a lot of good prospects the Vegas Golden Knights have in their system right now. So Brennan Bryson, 35th overall out of all the people in the all the people there. You have Lucas Cormier, who's 65th overall. And then you have Caden Korzak, who is a defenseman, was taken in the 2019 NHL draft, playing for Henderson right now. He is projected to go to the NHL at some point in the 2022-2023 NHL season. He is their third highest ranked prospect. You have got at the fourth as fourth top prospect is Pavel Gorpiev, and he is playing in the Henderson uh, Silver Knights right now. Had a cup of coffee in the NHL last year. He 
could also join the Vegas Golden Knights at some point in 2022-2023. And then, to round it out, the fifth and final top prospect is forward Ivan Morzov, who was drafted in the 2018 NHL draft, just came over from the KHL to join the Henderson Silver Knights. He will probably stay in North America for one year, two years, and then he will be in the NHL at some point. So the top the top five prospects involving the Vegas Golden Knights, number one, Brendan Bryce on their 2020 first round pick, playing in Henderson right now. Number two, defenseman Lucas Cormier. He was selected in the 2020 draft immediately after Brendan Bryce on. He is playing in Henderson. Their third top prospect is defenseman Keaton Korzak. He's playing in Henderson right now. He was their second round pick in 2019. Fourth was Pavel Dorfiev, and he was selected in the 2019 NHL draft. He's currently playing for Henderson. And then their fifth top prospect in Las Vegas is Ivan Morzov, who was selected in the 2018 NHL draft, currently playing in Henderson. So, moral of the story is that your top five prospects for Vegas, two of them are ranked in the top 100. Your top five prospects, three of them are defensemen, and two of them are highly ranked forwards for the Vegas Golden Knights, and four of the five top prospects are going to be playing for Vegas at some point this year and are projected to be part of the Vegas Golden Knights in the long-term future. And that is in Korzak, Dorpiev, Cormier, and Bryce on. So we have about two minutes left here on Vegas Hockey Hub. I just wanted to talk about Brendan Bryce on and why I believe he is a future part of the Vegas Golden Knights. Wanted to really cover his uh, part with the Vegas Golden Knights because Brendan Bryce on, he is going to be a member of Vegas. It's not if, but when he is going to be a member of Vegas. And when the day comes that Brendan Bryson makes his NHL debut for Vegas, it is going to be a moment that some people are going to remember. Because Brendan Bryson has that it factor. He has certain characteristics that can carry over to the NHL. And since we're talking about top prospects right now, it's actually interesting when you compare the year two of the prospects for the Vegas Golden Knights. Because their top prospect was really fascinating when you actually sit back and examine it. Because, man, there were so many great players who were part of the Vegas Golden Knights in year one. As a matter of fact, we're going to cover that 2017 NHL draft looking back at the Vegas Golden Knights who they selected. But just to go back in time, their number one ranked prospect in their 2018 was defenseman Eric Brandstrom. Number two was center Nick Suzuki. Third was center Cody Glass. Fourth was defenseman Nick Haig. And fifth was center Ben Jones. So it's kind of interesting looking back at, the, at their top prospects from four years ago and comparing it to 2022. One of those guys has turned into an all-star and a captain in Montreal, Nick Suzuki. Eric Grandstrom is playing in Ottawa on their bottom on their bottom six. Cody Glass playing on the bottom six in Nashville. Nicholas Haig is on the bottom defensive pairing in Vegas. And Ben Jones is someone that unfortunately did not really blossom to what a lot of people thought he was going to be. And that was being an NHL level player as a center. So, you know, Ben Jones is the only one that really didn't get to the NHL. But the rest of them, you know, the rest of the players that Vegas had as their top five prospects from 2018, they have actually done pretty good heading up to this point. So, this was looking at Brennan Bryson and talking about what he could do for Vegas. I'm your host, Ian Kelly. Follow us on social media at Vegas Hockey Hub. And until next time, go watch hockey, support your minor league hockey teams, and go night. Nice.